Hey guys, it's Ryan here and I've got a product to review for you today. So, today we will be uh, reviewing the Kasha uh, FC7. So, to get started, we need to take the items out of the box and we need to click them together. So, it's quite a good size box, uh, will fit in most cars. As you take the item out, there's a little bit of packaging and they are held together just with a little bit of cord. As you try and find the channel to get it clicked in, it just simply slides in through the top and be firm with it and then it clicks down in. You might feel like you're going to break it, but you're not. After that, we'll be getting out the rest of the accessories from the bottom of the box. So in here, very simple instructions. I really like these instructions because it's not confusing as to what you have to do to get started and there's not a lot of words to read. So we'll just get that and we'll throw it away. We have our little bottle of uh, fluid there for cleaning the floor, our water tank, our charger, the uh, base that holds all the water, our rollers, and then our storage unit to do all of our cleaning as well as the uh, kickstart guide. So to begin, we'll just plug it into the wall and you'll see all the lights there. We now have to match up our rollers with the colors. So as you put them on, you'll just turn it. To figure out which way to turn, you'll actually feel it grab. So match all the colored rings with the colors on the FC7. Now these rollers are machine washable once you're done as well. This item here, this is gonna catch all of the dirty water and then you'll drain it out through this hole later. Put it together, get the Kasha FC7, push it on till it clicks. So this is what it looks like from the bottom with everything together. This little canister, you just fill up with water and then put a capful of liquid into it like so. Click it on to the front. And you are ready to rock. So there is a couple of buttons on top. So push the first one to get started and you will actually hear it starting to roll just turn the sound down to make it easier for you to hear me but it's not very loud and you'll see within a matter of seconds of pushing the button that the rollers are going to get wet now, the very first time i turned it on it did take a little bit of time for it to get wet but every other time i've used it since it pretty much gets wet straight away there are two different speeds for letting water out so to make it wet faster or slower, depending on how dirty your floors are. As you can see, it's actually starting to clean the floors almost right away. And it's doing a really good job. The Kasha FC7 actually picks up some amounts of dirt and yucky stuff as you are cleaning. So I've got some baked beans here that the kids didn't finish. And you can see that the Kasha is making light work of that, picking it up pretty good. It was hard to get it out of the ground, to be honest. I did have to use a paper towel to actually get that bit out. And as you're finished, the red light will come on saying that the canister is full and we have to clean it out. Now, you can see all of the dirty water there and we're just going to tip that out into the sink. Now, be aware you have to hold the top and bottom compartments together when you're moving it over to the sink. Otherwise, as I found out, it does come apart when you're holding it. Very easily washes off. And then to clean it, you actually just push these two buttons together with the cleaned rollers on and it will be actually running a rinse through. On the other side, push the button and then the canisters will come off the top and then you just twist the rollers off and you'll put these rollers into the washing machine and after you've cleaned these guys of things like hair and dirt you just click them back into place like so get the Kasha FC7 click it back on top of the machine 